It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Baltimore Ravens. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And able to get this to the 24-yard line. They began the play at the 12. It's also a pickup of 12 for the first down. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play there. Second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice blitz coming, and down he goes. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Now Jackson. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. Right back to Duvernay. That's complete. And he is going to have a Ravens first down as that'll be a gain of 15 on fourth. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Not have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. On second and 10, Jackson. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 45-yard line. 12 yards to pick up there, good for a Raven first. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Throwing is Jackson. Dancing to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. On third down, Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 28. 16 yards on that one and a Raven first. down Drake and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up give him two yards on the gain there and it will take us to the end of quarter number one no score after one on EA Sports
last run got a couple here second and eight Jackson on the give to Dobbins and he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 20 yard line they'll try to run for it with Dobbins and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9 a terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door first and goal and now Jackson will look to throw it. He'll dump this off complete to Dobbins. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need hey. down here. It's going to be second and goal. Now it's Jackson. And he'll be out of bounds. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. And that is something that we just saw there that you obviously have to be prepared for when you try to defend Lamar Jackson. That likely will not. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Ravens post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Give him 30 yards there. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give him a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Throwing his hurts. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. To throw on second and 10. Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A gain of 32 that time. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown, and the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This take it in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. 
Well, this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant, keep throwing it around. The run got four, now they deal with a second and six. Jackson gonna give this one to Edwards. And a six yard gain gets him right around the 43. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And he'll be taken down at the 46 yard line. Give him three yards there on the first down pickup. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, you talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one, got to be in sync, and they were. From midfield now, here's Jackson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. That ball caught, it's Mark Andrews, the tight end. He's got room at the 30, and he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. How about that, they weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Jackson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Ravens have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to seven. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. Fields the squib kick right around the 30. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And the slot man goes in motion left. To throw 
once more on second and ten. Hurts. And this is going to be incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Flushed out right. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Williams, and the Ravens are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be an even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. Look at the big man run. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an eagle touchdown. So they were down by a touchdown, probably just hoping the defense could hold them, maybe force the punt. Instead, they force the turnover and take it into the house. Well, the plan was perfect. That's exactly what they wanted. Instead, they got a lot more than that. Big time capitalization by taking the ball away and putting it in the end zone. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. He'll going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. set at the line for this next drive. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it, but you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. Middle they go with Drake. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that point from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball here before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. On second down, it's Edwards. And hard running's gonna get him over the 40 to the 42. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. A handoff running left is Dobbins. And down to the 44, five yards that time. They've created a nice sustained drive off a of place like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll go again with Dobbins. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 39. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Jackson's going to try the sneak. And he will have a Ravens first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. And 
as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. James Bradbury there to make the tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Jackson now. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. A potential field goal, if you're thinking about that, almost 55 yards from here as they try to get closer on third down. Now it's Jackson. And this is going to be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. He's going deep for Brown. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. That's caught by Jackson. He's at the 40, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. In just a one possession game, down eight, they'll be looking for the touchdown and two point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. To throw again on second down, Jackson. That's complete, it's Rashad Bateman. Jackson to Bateman there for the Baltimore first. From the gun, it's Jackson. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. Jackson. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Now this offense on third down today, they've been tough to stop. Eight for ten so far. This is third and four. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. 
And he will have a Ravens first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Now Jackson. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the...